Is that me gold? What the hell are you? I'm a leprechaun, my dear. Here, this is what you're looking for, right? Ah. Me powers are returning. <laughs> Crypto slow. Cryptocurrency news and investing. Gold. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Happy Thursday. So, mm, wow, what's going on this morning? Well, there's a lot going on. The big news this morning is fake gold, and not the kind of fake gold that you're thinking about, but fake stamped gold. And you're like, what in the world is he talking about? So, basically, in some of these bank vaults, uh, well, first, let's back up a little bit. Gold in its bars, like the gold bars, are stamped, numbered, and basically they have IDs. And as a storage, this is like gold that's not being used for jewelry and stuff. This is like banking gold. Um, and that's basically the trust mechanism between banks. And obviously in Asia, these gold bars a lot of times are used for large purchases like real estate and stuff. Well... Basically, all these gold bars are stamped and ID'd, and, and that way, you know where the gold has come from. Also, it's a way for the government to control um, what resources, what money is leaving the country. Because if someone in country B has a gold from country A, they'll know maybe that an illegal transaction has transpired if it's against the monetary policy. Um, so basically, gold that's mined like in Africa, uh, Venezuela, or other parts is being like fraudulently stamped um, with basically like a make, like a made up serial number or a duplicate serial number. Um, and you know, it's just funny to me because gold in itself, just having the gold is supposed to be the storage of value. But now they want to ID the gold and stamp the gold. So now it's, it's, it basically, you know, imagine if every dollar bill in the fiat world had a serial number on it. Um, but they actually cared about it though. Um, which they would, if there was $10,000 bills, probably people would be a little more, um, you know, scrupulous about accepting a large sum like that. So basically this gold that's being mined, you know, and then basically it's having this illegal serial numbers stamped on it. And you're like, why is that really important? Well, it's important because it shows you with, with transactions of value, one of the government's top concerns is source and origin. So the whole idea behind putting these serial numbers and IDs on this gold, you know, one of the major things I think is so they can control the money in and out of the country. And they don't want those cross-border payments happening unless they go through the proper channels. Um, so the gold is pure. The gold itself is pure, but the ID on it is, is, is invalid. So in essence, this allows people to sneak large amounts of money in and out of the country. But it shows you the government is very concerned about cross-border payments you know and then they immediately jump to well it's got to be illegal activity if someone's trying to move large sums of money in and out of an area but you know once again it's super interesting to me you know as soon as you have a large stack of dollar bills you know you're instantly a criminal so it's just funny, you know, or you go to the bank and try, try to get money, um, a large sum of money. They're like, whoa, 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 why do you need so much money? Um, it's so funny that in today's society, you know, there's all of this, like all these transactions 
As long as the transactions are small, it's okay. But as soon as it gets larger, it's instantly illegal. So, but it's very interesting. So basically like this goal, and that's, you know, that's an interesting concept if you apply it into cryptocurrency because, you know, it, the government would have a large issue with Bitcoin, um, you know, moving fast. And on that note, two billion dollars, two billion dollars was moved this morning in Bitcoin in one transaction. Pretty incredible. Um, and the fee, I think, on that was eighteen hundred dollars. Two hundred twenty-three thousand bitcoins moved in one block. <laughs> and it, I think the government would probably have an issue with that if they knew where it was going to and from. So, you know, very, very interesting. Um, you know, the facts that. Yeah. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. Applying that to cryptocurrency, it would be interesting to know if crypto will ever be serialized or ID'd. Meaning, imagine uh, if you had Bitcoin bucks or whatever, some new crypto, and it could actually have a country of origin ID built into the blockchain mechanism. And I don't see, honestly, I don't see something like that as too far-fetched. I mean, that's the biggest problem with Libra, is the government's not going to let you send a thousand dollars to somebody in Zimbabwe halfway across the world, because that's a cross-border payment that's going to violate like 99 million laws, um, you know, for monetary policies. And that's, you know, that's, you know, that's, I think that's part of what keeps a lot of these people in poverty is the government restrictions are so tight that, you know, they really close off a lot of cross, um, possibilities, you know, with, um, you know, with payments and in business and just in general, these tight monetary policies keep people, people in poverty. So, yeah, so really, really interesting fake gold, but not fake in the way that you and I would think it is. It's, it's about the ID. I guess I never really thought about how important the source of the gold. I thought gold was gold, right? Bitcoin's a Bitcoin. doesn't matter where it came from. It's a Bitcoin. Um, but now it's not good enough for gold to just be gold. It's got to be legal gold and ID properly. And the source can only be certain areas um, for legal gold. So there's legal gold and illegal gold. And if you've found to have illegal gold, it is up for seizure or forfeiture. So yeah, really interesting articles. I'll leave a link down below. Check it out. What do you think of gold? Do you have any gold? Um, I do have a gold money account, which allows you to own physical gold. Um, gold right now is kind of high, obviously. You got the gold bugs, you know, with the recession coming. Gold's going to 10,000 an ounce. But, you know, as always, that's, uh, that's, that's something for you to think about. But anyways, yeah, and if you didn't know about it, gold money, check it out. It's basically a website that allows you to buy physical gold. You actually own the gold and um, you even get a credit card that you can spend your gold on if you want to liquidate it. So yeah, anyways, this is Crypto Slow. Hope you liked today's vlog. Please like and subscribe if you want the latest, greatest cryptocurrency news and investing, dApps, and other cool things. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking games, then we're not talking.